Hello and welcome to Financial Intelligence. In this video, I want to talk about Chinese real estate developers. Dollar bound defaults from Chinese property developers are rising quickly as the country's housing market slumps. The problem could worsen as a wave of debt from the troubled industry comes due in coming months. Some analysts fear that property developers' debt crisis could even turn into Chinese Lehman Brothers moment sending shockwaves across the world's second biggest economy. In the reminder of this video, I want to discuss how troubled Chinese conglomerate Evergrande and its enormous mountain of debt is threatening the financial markets, how it is stuck in a vicious cycle, and how it creates a danger of cross-default in China. If you like the type of content that I provide, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. What is the problem exactly? The challenge in a nutshell is that property development companies tend to use a lot of debt to finance their operations. The Chinese development companies have grown aggressively in recent years because of the rising housing prices due to strong demand in China. The rapid growth of Chinese real estate developers in recent years was fueled in large part by borrowing. However, as demand in China's once exploding housing market wanes, Fears of widespread defaults among property development companies have come to a head. To put this into perspective, real estate and related industries account for as much as 30% of Chinese GDP. Chinese real estate is so huge that the fallout from any failure could hurt not just China's economy, but it could spread to markets beyond China. For example, Evergrande, the largest Chinese real estate developer, is buried under its crushing debt of $300 billion. It is interesting to compare that number to the national debt of Russia, which is around $450 billion. Embattled conglomerate Evergrande rattled global markets in September by warning that it could default on its huge debts. A 30-day grace period for Evergrande to pay international bondholders, meanwhile, ran out in October and investors are expecting the company to default on close to $20 billion in outstanding dollar debt. Since then, more developers have made similar public confessions, unnerving investors and raising the fears of a crash across the vast sector. Chinese developers are stuck in a vicious cycle. Last year, China brought in new rules to control the amount owed by big real estate developers. Those measures place a cap on debt in relation to a firm's cash flows, assets, and capital levels. The new measures led many companies to offer their properties at major discounts to raise enough capital to meet the new requirements. However, some developers are struggling to meet the interest payments on their debts as a result of their declining revenues due to lower prices. On the other hand, banks have also responded to their deteriorating cash flows. Some have declined to extend new loans to buyers who were interested in purchasing their uncompleted projects. Ratings agencies have also repeatedly downgraded some of these real estate developers, citing their liquidity problems. As a result, global investors have been offloading high-yield bonds issued by Chinese developers because of the downgrades. Simply put, investors have serious concerns about the future of those companies and their capability to repay debts. The extreme market dislocation raised the risk of a vicious cycle in which Chinese developers cannot refinance upcoming debts 
because borrowing costs are just too high, leading to more defaults and further hits to investors and home buyers' confidence. The danger of cross default. Another challenge is that some of these real estate development companies have become almost too big to fail. That is because they have grown very quickly and developed businesses in multiple other sectors. This has created a widespread systematic risk to the entire Chinese economy. If these companies can't repay their debt, it may lead to a situation of cross default where a default triggered in one situation may spread to other obligations leading to a broader collapse. For example, Evergrande has seven units dabbling in a wide range of industries including electrical vehicles, healthcare services, consumer products, video and television production units, and even a theme park. The firm says it has 200,000 employees, but indirectly creates more than 3.8 million jobs every year, according to its website. Goldman Sachs analysts say the company's structure has almost made it difficult to ascertain a more precise picture of its finances. In a recent note, they pointed to the complexity of Evergrande Group and the lack of sufficient information on the company's assets and liabilities. This is a very dangerous situation because it obscures the amount of risk that these companies create to the entire financial markets. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any recommendation or suggestion, add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and take care.